everyone and welcome back to my channel it's Dani and today's video I'm gonna show you how to knit this beautiful and super chunky net warmer this is the below zero net warmer and it's super cozy perfect for the winter and you can make it in a few hours I promise so before we get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah now let's see what you need to make this super cozy neck warmer I'm gonna be using these circular knitting needles by Clover these ones are 15 millimeters US 19 and yes like I said they are circular needles 29 inches uh, you can have in here the reference and yes you can also use straight needles if you like but um, you would have to seam it after and I think circular needles are um, better <laughs> and you will also need scissors a tapestry needle and two skeins of yarn these ones are by lion brand and they're at category 6 super bulky so to begin you're gonna need to grab both strands of yarn from both um, skeins of yarn this color is super super pretty it's called butterscotch if you're wondering and we're gonna work with two strands together so that's why it's gonna be super quick and easy to make so to begin we're gonna cast on with any cast on method that you prefer I'm using the long tail cast on method and I'm gonna leave about three and a half meters of yarn in order to have enough to cast on my stitches so this is the way I do it and you will need for this pattern 42 stitches I'm gonna be casting on 43 just because I use one of those stitches to close um, and to work in the round but if you have another um, method you can go ahead and do whatever works for you but you will need 42 stitches in total So here I have my 43 in this case. Make sure your stitches are not twisted and then we're going to join to work in the round and this is how I do it. And then you can drop that stitch as if binding off. And because I don't have a super big stitch marker, I'm just gonna make my own and just grab a piece of yarn and here you go you have a stitch marker <laughs> just a piece of yarn and that's it um, so yes place that on your right needle and now we're gonna begin the pattern so to begin we're gonna do a quick ribbon um, edge for this neck warmer so we're gonna knit one pro one knit one purl one knit one and purl one and we're gonna do this for three rows and you're gonna see me in this tutorial and a lot of you guys have been mentioned it before that I need and purl um, grabbing the front or the back of the stitch and this is just gonna depend how this stitch is presented to me but however you know how to do it it's fine as long as you have a perfect stitch that is not twisted or anything it does not matter so just make sure that you do your knit stitch and it looks like a knit stitch and then you do your purl stitch and it looks like a purl stitch so please don't um, don't think that you're doing it wrong if you learned different just go ahead and do it however you know how to do it okay so we're gonna continue like I said doing the ribbing and we're gonna do three rows of the the ribbon stitch which is knit one purl one knit one purl one you will also have the reading pattern on my blog that I will link in the description box below so if you rather have the reading strict instructions you can um, get them there so now that we're done with the ribbon we're gonna start the body of this neck warmer 
and this is called the broken rib stitch what we're gonna be working right now and it's very very easy all you need to know is how to knit and how to purl so one row we're gonna knit and then the next row we're gonna do the ribbon stitch I think that's what it's called ribbon stitch <laughs> so for row number four we're gonna knit all the way around and in here you can see as well that I'm grabbing the stitch from the front and then from the back just because that's how the stitch is presented to me again don't get confused by this do your knit stitch however you know how to do it do your purl stitch however you know how to do it okay so row number four knit all the way around now we go to row number five and we're gonna do this ribbon stitch again so knit one purl one knit one purl one and I think you now got the idea and like I said before we're gonna do one row knitting and then one row ribbon and this is called the broken rib stitch which is very very easy but very pretty so now we're gonna do a total of 27 rows with the broken rib stitch so if we count it in total we should have 30 rows um, because we did three rows for the ribbon at the beginning so in here as you can see I'm doing another row of knitting just knitting and then the next next one will be just ribbon I'm I hope I'm explaining myself good <laughs> Like I said, the reading instructions are gonna be listed in the description box below. So now go, go ahead and do 27 rows for the body. So once you're done, we're gonna do another three rows of ribbon, same as we did at the beginning. And we're just gonna knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one for three rows. So knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, and continue doing this all the way around for three rows. So now we're almost done. All we need to do is bind off. And in here you can see this is my leftover yarn. And you can go ahead and knit a couple more rows if you have leftovers. But I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to have um, be short and don't have enough to bind off my neck warmer. So if you feel comfortable, you can knit a couple more rows. But if not, it's okay. And you should have... A little bit of yarn left so now to bind off we're going to knit one and then we're gonna purl the second stitch now let's go back to the first stitch bring it over and off the hook off the hook off the needles <laughs> um, and then the next one we're gonna knit that one bring the previous one over and off the needles next one is purl and bring the previous one over and off the needles and as you can see now we are binding off so continue doing this all the way around until you have one stitch on your needles So once you're done, just grab your scissors, cut that yarn, 
grab your tapestry needle and weave in that end. Make sure you do it nice, so it's nice and secure. Take your time. We don't want to. We don't want. We don't want to have a neck warmer that unravels one when you're washing it, <laughs> especially if you're selling it. Mm -mm. So take your time and then place a couple knots. And when that is done, cut the yarn and now we're going to do the exact same in here. And there you go. This is the Below Zero Neck Warmer. Super chunky, super cozy. I just love chunky knits. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this pattern. If so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you really liked this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that bell button so you're gonna get notifications every time I upload a new video and follow me on social media. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm always posting pictures, stories, everything there. I love when you guys tag me in your pictures so please go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.